For the first time in 17 years, Lamar suffered a losing season with a 5-6 and six mark in 2011. J.R. Boyd threw a lot of youngsters into the fire who got valuable varsity experience. I think our weaknesses last year were youth, but, you know, we were uh, – we didn't block and tackle well in our mental toughnesses, and uh, we worked on some of that, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll do a better job of that this year. He didn't get enough publicity, but Silver Fox's quarterback, Quan Brown, had great numbers as a freshman, over 1,300 yards in the air. That was good for ninth of the zone nation. Another freshman who saw a major PT was running back LeBradford Abson, who topped 700 yards and made 11 trips to the zone. Lamar also has the benefit of people's power. Akeem Peoples is an underrated college prospect who will star both ways, and Demetrius Peoples. The two combined for 68 catches and over 1,000 yards. Like every 1A school, these offensive cogs will also be keys on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, my, I think my role is very important. Uh, I think I'm a leader. And, uh, I want to lead this team, and I want the rest of the team to become a leader with me. I just don't want to be the only leader. It's very exciting to be Lamar Silver Fox. Just going out there and seeing all the fans cheering for you and just seeing the atmosphere and representing our team. The Silver Foxes were a victim of realignment, moving to an upper state region and losing a number of great rivalries. First and foremost, Timminsville. Instead of playing the whirlwinds twice a year, the backyard brawl will take place just once this year. We got to go up north. I mean, uh, our closest game is McBee, about 45 minutes away in our region. All the rest of them, an hour and a half. You like this? No, too much travel.